So to do this problem, what we want to do is they want us to figure out what our uh, what our standard form of our ellipse is. All right. And remember, our standard form of ellipse all depends on if we're going to determine if we have a um, vertical uh, major axis or if we have a horizontal major axis. And remember, what lies on the major axis are um, our foci and also our vertices. Well, we notice, and also the major axis is obviously bigger than the minor axis. So we notice here we have two axes, and you can determine that obviously this one is going to be your major axis, right? It's longer than that major axis, right? And remember, these major and minor axes, Javier, are axes of symmetry, okay? So that's why I split that down the middle and that one down the middle. So we have these two axes of symmetry, and we notice where those two axis symmetries cross, that's going to provide us the center of our ellipse. So um, we don't need to determine what the foci is for its problem for our um, standard equation. All we're simply concerned with right now is just figure out the standard form. So the standard form comes in two different, well, there's two different standard forms. Um, one is with when you have a horizontal axis symmetry, and the other is when you have a vertical axis symmetry or a vertical major axis. So since we know we have a vertical, I'm going to write that uh, equation down. So I'll have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals 1. Now we know it's going to be divided by a squared b squared. The one thing I want you to understand is since I have, when I have it as a vertical axis symmetry, a squared, which is 2a is the length of my major axis, so therefore that's always going to be under your uh, your y when it's a vertical major axis symmetry. If this was a horizontal major axis symmetry, the a and my b would be switched because a is a is your larger uh, larger length, so that would be under the x, which would tell you the x you know axis or x uh, axis symmetry is going to be longer. So now um, we need to determine a couple points. One, we need to figure out the value of A, we need to figure out the value of B, and we need to figure out the center. Well, the center is pretty easy to figure out. We can just plot go over 1, 2, up, 1, 2, 3. So I can write center equals 2, comma 3. All right, the next thing is we need to figure out the length of A, B, and C. Well, I told you that the distance of your major axis symmetry is 2A, and the distance of your minor axis is 2B. So what we can say, if this whole distance is 2A, then from here to here is A. So I'm simply, I can just say that now A equals 3, and B equals 1. Right? So all I'm going to do now is, and remember center is H and K. So if it says x minus h, you're just going to plug in x minus 2. So to write my final form, it's just going to be x minus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared all over b squared, which is 1 squared, which is 1, and then a3 squared, which is 9, and that equals 1. And there we go. That's it. Got it. Questions? Perfect.